We are on renovation week 12. Today is Monday. Jess and I have just got to the house and the builders have left the lights on for us. As you can see, I am going, oh my God! Just the radiators on the wall. Oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that either. Yeah, I was looking. Look at this. Oh my God, isn't she a beauty? If you can hear buzzing, it's because once again, there is a bee or a fly or something trapped up there. And they're so dumb, they just cannot find their way out. Anyway, they've definitely tidied up a little bit in here today. <laughs> I can tell. But um, I'm here today to actually start doing the final coat on the downstairs toilet. I've been watching YouTube videos on how to do this chalk wash paint. And you know what? Oh God, I even bought my tripod for the occasion just to uh, do a little time lapse of me. Um, painting so let's hope i don't cock it up i think tomorrow or wednesday is the following day the radiator is now going up um in the downstairs toilet on the wall so that's why he wanted us to make sure it was done and i can see that they've um can i get through they've taken the radiator out of the box and oh my god it is so cute it's diddy <laughs> There we go, it's so tiny, it's super cute. I was unsure of going for a towel radiator in the downstairs toilet because I've never actually seen one in there before, but apparently it's a thing. I asked on Instagram and loads of people sent me photos of their own. So that's good to know that it is actually a thing and not just something that we're gonna get. But yeah, I wanna start doing the painting in the downstairs toilet while just sprays the outside, the back of the house with bleach again to try and get rid of that mold and stuff growing. And then he has to pop to screw fix and I'm gonna give my friend a FaceTime tour of the house because I haven't shown him like the outside and the garden and stuff but I really want his creative input because his garden is just incredible. So that's the plan for today. It's already like 7.55. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too long of a night, but luckily, you know, we have lights here, so just in case it gets too dark. These lights act like really good ring lights, although I'm being blinded if I look at them. Anyway, I have this brush. I found it here the other day. There were two. I washed the other one, left it to dry in the garden. I think the builders have put it away. I don't know what the proper brush you're supposed to use is, but just a wide, oh, this is very splintery. Anyway, you just need to use a wide brush to do this paint, so that's what I'm doing. Just open the tin for me. <laughs> it's very hard to see in here. I hope you can like, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I've got you propped up on the tripod. Okay, I'm gonna spend too long trying to get the camera angles right with this tripod on losing daylight, so I'm just gonna crack on and just give it a go with this brush. If not, we have like regular paint brushes. Ooh, I need to take a little break. This is hard work. Bloody hell, it's quite therapeutic doing the brush strokes though, but I think what makes it really difficult, sorry I'm doing a 360 here, these lights give off so much heat and I'm literally sweating away because it's a really hot day today, but this is the patch that I did about 20 or 30 minutes ago. It's not really picking up on camera. I think it changes quite a lot as it dries, so I really hope it doesn't look like brush strokes in the end. I'm, I'm hoping for a good result, but I'm just doing Oh, do you know what you're not going to be able to see in here at all at this time of day? I'll have to show you in the daytime at some point. If you can hear like a ticking noise, that's Jas outside doing something with his uh, steam cleaner, I think. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. Twenty to ten, and it is dark outside. But um, I'm quite happy with my progress. You're not going to be able to see a 
a single thing that I've done here. Oh, it's not even focusing, never mind showing you the cloudy effect. Jess is packing up the tripod, we're just going to grab our bits and head home. And um, I'm back tomorrow in the daytime to meet a tree surgeon, so I will show you, um, try and show you tomorrow anyway. I look rough as hell today, but it's Tuesday, we're back at the house, and oh my god, let me just show you something. So, this is the downstairs loo. These are my tiles. This is what I painted yesterday, and I figured that there's just never going to be good enough lighting to really appreciate this paint in here. This is probably as light as it is ever going to get because this currently doesn't have a door. It's summer and there's a lot of sun. And so really, I think it'll always just look like this dark patch. This is obviously the same colour all the way around and the skirting isn't up yet, nor is the radiator or the toilet. Anywho... <laughs> It kind of, this paint's really unusual because from a distance I think it looks incredible but up close you can really see like the brush marks and I just don't know if I love it. I mean it's too late for me to change it but it does look good from a distance and I think that's all that matters and in fact I'm going to have to do a lot more coats of it anyway because once the toilet and stuff is in they're going to scuff the walls and I have to do the edges all over again. But what I actually wanted to show you were these tiles they look absolutely amazing i'm so happy with them oh my god i think they look amazing it's really really hard in fact i'm gonna go and stand in here which is actually where the toilet will be so i will never really be able to get this far back but look at this oh my god i love it so much I love these two colours together. See how nice and cloudy this looks. That is what the lime wash paint was supposed to do. And I love the dark sort of black floor against the blush pink and the taupe. And I also love that we chose to do black grout and not um, white hair. I think it really makes a statement. We've got a very gold, <laughs> it's very gold, mirror up there. And we have a gold tap and a gold waist and then a concrete looking like vanity unit. It's almost... This colour. Anyway, as you can see, they've started filling up the floor here, which is great. It's obviously still wet, so we can't walk through at the moment. And my black radiator has gone up on the wall. I think it looks amazing. I can't really get much closer to show you the valves. I'll show you another day when we're here, but the valves look so nice. Love it. And now I'm standing in the bathroom and they've started tiling the back of the shower. Oh, I think this looks so good and I love the way the yellow looks in the sun oh it does not look like this is going to be ready by the end of the week and I hope it is but there's just so much stuff here oh my god in fact I need to take some of these tiles back to return them because we have loads left over oh it's another scorcher of a day hold on let me just sort this out I've just left tops tiles I need to turn the car on sorry it's really hot um, I had to return a box of tiles, which is great because I got a refund. I love any money coming in at the moment, not money going out. And, um, oh, someone's calling me a tree surgeon. Anyway, um, and I had to just pick up some tile adhesive, so I'm going to go to the house now. And they're like 20 kg bags, and I've got three of them in my car. So I'm going to have to ask the tilers or somebody to take them out of the car because I cannot do that. Oh my god, there's people all around me watching me. I'm in like some car park. Um, full of like builders and vans and stuff so I'm gonna go oh my god the board of the stairs is off wow that's very unusual I kind of really like how unusual this looks I've taken the board off the staircase and I kind of want to keep it, but it's going to be very hard to sand down and clean up. So our only other option is to get spindles, to be honest. And I think we're going to have to go with the square ones because the more intricate ones um, are going to be too expensive. But I don't know, what do you guys think? It's quite unusual, isn't it? But I don't hate it. It's really weird. Oh, wow. I've just come upstairs to have a look. This looks amazing. I still need to collect the rest of the tiles next week because there's been a bit of a delay. But wow, look at this. Oh, I love it so much. 
Chas and I have spent all day driving around and we've been to the house. This is the second time that we're here. I've had to meet various tree surgeons and stuff and the builders here. Just one guy on his own today. So I've just come upstairs to have a look at what's gone on. And oh my God, the bathroom looks so good so far. I love that pop of yellow. I love that we went for these bigger brick effect white plain tiles. And I really like the floor tiles as well. It's a really nice contrast because our shower tray and shower screen and all the accessories are going to be black. So this is quite nice because it's just a bit lighter. And um, this is the box for where the toilet's going to go. We could try and source a shelf because we've got, um, I can't remember the name of the style of toilet. It's not a back to wall. But we've got one of those like built-in toilets. I can't think of the name of it now. And so instead of tiling the top, um, the builders recommended putting a shelf on the top so if anything ever happens to the cistern in there it's easy to remove the shelf without having to retile all of this so I think it looks really good very happy with this our towel radiator is going to go up here as you can see it's very narrow isn't it bloody hell they still have to finish tiling up there it's really difficult for them I think because we have these like curved ceilings and I have no idea how you do this shape tiles up there but this wall is very nearly done and these are my recesses for in the shower my black shower tray the sink's going to stick out a little bit and go here which is great and yeah we're back shopping for carpets we're holding these up by the window to see i think it's this one that i like jess oh, nice. it's a lot more neutral this is a bit more mushroomy which one's the Simons one you're holding? Yeah. Yeah, that's a deep pile. We don't want that. Yeah. Can you put that up against the window as well? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I want this to look quite minimal. I think this is the one I like. That is like, I do like the middle one. Mm, me too. There's one more I wanted to have a look at. It's um, Emperor Sand. Oh yeah, what's that? Let's have a look. Okay, Jas has just managed to put it out for us to have a look at. <laughs> so funny, you just look at the DIY job. Oh, they are. I still think I prefer this colour. That's sand. What's that one? That's not sand, that's beige. Oh. I think this one's beige as well. That's nice. They're both, actually, they're both the same. It's not going to look at old people's home, is in it? In terms of durability, they're both the same, aren't they? Same price range. No, they're not. That's five pounds more per square meter. Really? I prefer cheaper. this one. <laughs> what, just because of the price? Because no, you actually prefer it? Why don't you? No, I actually it. prefer this one in terms of the colour. Let me look at it properly, not through my camera screen. Hold on. No, that's backlight. Actually, hold it up this way. Let me. Done on the right. My right, your left. My this left one, one, this one. Which one is that? San Marino Twist? Oh, yeah. Now we pulled a different one out. <laughs> I don't know why you like this one because look, that is very similar to that one. It this is, is, isn't it? But this might look nicer in the bedroom where it's like less like foot traffic. Don't and know. this in the hallway and stairs downstairs, maybe. Is that weird? Oh, it looks very silver on camera. Let me just hold it up properly. Hold on. I haven't really vlogged much today, but Jas and I have been on the road again since like 9 a.m. We had to go to the Apple store because um, Jas needed his phone battery. Re replacing or whatever and then we um went, popped into a few homeware shops we went to another carpet right so we actually went to carpet right yesterday and this was a store near to where the house is but we wanted to go to a different store and actually that was a really good shout because they all seem to have like different deals on even though it's like the same company so this other random store that we went to happened to be doing free fitting which is just exclusive to their store so you kind of save quite a lot of money on that um, and so it was a good shout going in there and we've kind of pretty much decided um, which carpet we want. I'm still trying to figure out if I want like a different carpet in the bedrooms or in the lounge. And um, we've got the guy coming to measure up um, tomorrow morning, right? Yeah, so that'll be quite good. We want to kind of speed this up a little bit because I didn't realise that carpet takes quite a while to arrive. And then we popped back home for a little bit to um, grab our iced coffees and just 
we had a little like an hour or so to kill now we're on our way to the house today for the first time we're actually meeting the builder there and we're going shopping with him to Wix he gets um, a trade discount there obviously so um, we're gonna go and buy some paint and some timber for the stairs we've decided to go with spindles on our staircase which is something we were always gonna do anyway but yesterday I think I filmed a little clip he took the um, 60s board off the stairs for me and it was something they were going to do anyway but I was like can you please do it today so I can just decide if I want to buy spindles or what type or whatever and so oh, he really wants us to get the square ones because they're going to be a lot cheaper and a lot like easier to do um I really like the intricate more traditional ones I'm not sure that that will really work on our staircase though because the gap isn't very high and so a lot of the detail might have to be cut off but I want to go and measure that today before we go to Wix and have a look at spindles because that might just be the deciding factor for me I mean anything was better than that whole staircase being boarded up you can really see the light shining through it now because there's a big window at the top of the stairs so it looks great anyway so that's the plan for today right yep and then tomorrow Jas is at the house painting all day with the builder that'll be fun <laughs> I think it will be fun um the we've asked our builder to start doing some painting now it's a whole long thing we've we didn't fire our um neighbor we just there was just a bit a few things that we were unsure of so first we kind of put a pause on all the painting with him and we've got the builder to start but Jas said he's going to give him a hand as and where he can just to save a little bit of money because then that's like you know a day rate that we're not paying the builder basically mm. right so that'd be quite good oh it does look yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very gold oh my god i absolutely love this sink it's very dark in here so just is just shining his light but oh i love the way it looks that's, that's just right isn't it really yeah i'm so happy right with that it's actually the center of it as well that's what i mean i think it looks better on the left because you can see it yeah the door's right. open for some reason it just looks nicer Oh, I'm so happy with this and the losing, but I'm not going to show you that. We're just laughing at this bit because the builder told us that the electrician didn't put the spotlights on straight, so they're going to have to fix it. And he was telling us this yesterday, and now we can really see because they've drawn it all out. It's not something that we would have noticed until we obviously came around to like painting this bit, but it's just so funny. Like, it's really not straight. You can really see it now that they've drawn these lines. So on a shopping trip with the builder. I've never been into it. I guess before. that's it, isn't it? Thank you. I sent you a link for these little holders. Yeah, but I don't know if we ever got them. I don't Back know. from a successful shopping trip with the builder. And look! They've put the marble back on the fireplace. They've actually broken a bit of the marble when they removed it. So um, I think. Hang on, what's he done here? Oh, right, okay. So I think he's either going to find out the cost of just repairing that little bit all replacing the whole thing i'm not sure how that's going to work so that's something for another day but we've made a decision about the staircase in what would appear to be five minutes to you guys because i was just talking about it a minute ago but i think it's the right decision let me show you this is actually an original feature this is how they would have had it except for they've boarded up this gap here now yesterday initially the builder said to me if we unboard that you'll lose the whole of the structure on the inside but i know we've renovated the whole house i do want to keep some original features and <laughs> there's really not much left to be honest it's pretty much just this from all i can think of off the top of my head so another builder that he spoke to said why not just keep it it's quite nice and me and jas both do like it but we like it with this bit removed. So they found a workaround and what we're gonna do is remove that paneling, try and keep this structure in place, but then get spindles like this, just square, oh, where are we? Square bits of timber and put them here on the inside. And then we've kind of still got the structure and I have to hope that this is the same upstairs when they finally uncover it if not we might have to go for a slightly different look i don't really know how that's going to work but we'll see but yeah i really like this actually it's quite unusual and i'm all about things that look a little bit different as you may have been able to tell 
buy this. <laughs> um, one of the other builders earlier was saying to us that he's never seen a tap like this before. He was like, all the taps he ever installs are basically chrome. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. This, when it arrived, was very, very gold. I was a little bit worried, but actually, I made a good call not returning it because I just, I knew it'd be really dark in here and that's kind of the dark effect that I wanted to create. And so that just kind of, I don't know, it adds a little pop of colour, but the darkness, the atmosphere, the darkness kind of mutes the gold of the tap a little bit. I really, really like this industrial look. We do have a little problem. So we got a toilet roll holder. I won't go too close to the toilet because I think they've been using it. But um, we got a really cool toilet roll holder and it's very industrial to go with the tap. In fact, the tap came after the toilet roll holder and we managed to get like a little shelf for the toilet roll holder that almost matches this it's perfect we both love it but the builder just told us that but actually it sticks out quite a lot and he was like if someone sat on the loo or if they're like standing up peeing if they're a man <laughs> they're gonna bump into it and it's just not practical to have it there so we're just gonna have to like we're gonna measure it at home just to double check against our actual one that we have in the flat but we not, may not be able to use that, which is such a shame. But actually, the toilet roll holder that we did get, um, it doesn't have to be used for toilet roll. How many times can I say those two words in one sentence? We have the option of possibly, let me flip the camera around, hold on one second. We've actually got it in the car at the moment because we're gonna go take it home and measure it up, but it will just look too busy here on the shelf because don't forget there's gonna be a mirror going up here. So I think it might be quite nice here and use the shelf bit on top for hand wash and the little sticky outy pipe thing for a towel possibly. This towel radiator is gonna go up on the wall there as you can see. Uh, so yeah, I'm a bit gutted about the toilet roll holder. Again, I can't stop saying those two words, but I really liked it, it was very unique. But anyway, I also told the builder that these walls weren't very smooth, so they've sanded over them, which basically means I need to paint over them, but that's fine, because I quite enjoyed doing this chalk wash paint, it was very therapeutic. He was just telling me that it's probably not the best quality paint though, because it flakes off quite easily from when he basically made a dent there. So I hope it lasts and stands the test of time because I'm not gonna be painting this again. Like once we've finally moved in and everything looks perfect, I'm not painting again for at least 10 years. I do love how the builder keeps making his to-do lists on the walls. <laughs> Last time he had one, you guys might remember a few videos back, it was on this wall that used to be here. And then that wall went and then he made his to-do list on this little bit, but we had to bring this wall out a little bit and have it replastered. So he's obviously plastered over that, and um, his next to-do list is there. I know this was done last week or the week before, but I don't think I've really properly appreciated it until now. The painting I'm talking about. This is basically the mist coat on the fresh plaster. This is obviously not the colours that we're keeping, but um, it does look really good white, doesn't it? It's very, it's very yeah, definitely spacious. It's mist paint, so just first coat. Finally in this room, it's still a tip. It's becoming a bit of a joke now. But yeah, the mist paint does look good. Maybe we should have got our neighbour to do it, Jess. Oh, it's just so difficult knowing what to do. We're so torn about what to do in terms of who to go with for the painting. I guess everyone wants the job, and our neighbour, I think he will do a really good job, but his English is just so poor, and it's really hard to understand him. He doesn't, like, he doesn't communicate very well as well, so we said to him, for example, one night, I said, can you please paint the downstairs loo because the builders want to put the radiator up tomorrow? And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. And then, can you demonstrate this bit? What's that? So, it was really stupid because the builders had just put a broom. Show them how they put the broom on this door. Oh, wait, wait, we're doing a broom. Okay. Like, just use this, this strippy thing here. Yeah, so, oh, here it is, there's a broom. So oh. The builders are like, finished and they left when they, when they finish, no, no, this door, this door. When the builders finish from the small the sort of bathroom toilet downstairs, they left a broom like that. Just, just, just literally just like that, right? <laughs> and the guy's meant to be painting for like four hours. Only at the end of that four hours, when he went back home, he said, "I couldn't paint the downstairs toilet because the builders had taped it up." I was like, it's not a crime scene, it's just a broom. You could have moved the broom. And it's just stuff like that that's really irritating because it kind of holds everybody up. Not that the builders have still put the radiator up, I don't know what they're doing, but 
it's very difficult project managing more than one person and to be honest i do think that the painter our next door neighbor will do a good job but his communication skills are just abysmal they're so bad kind of didn't want our builder to do the painting which he now is because i don't want him dragging this job out longer than it needs to be but on the plus side i know that i can trust him so if he tells me he's done like a full day if i'm paying a daily rate i know that he will have done it and not just you know like turn up for half a day and then bill me for a full day so it's just oh it's so difficult i just want to move in now i'm kind of sick of all this saturday today and there's loads going on in the house we've had um let me go in here actually it's probably easy for you guys to hear me but we've had a guy just come in to measure up the carpets there's the electricians here two builders jas is doing some sounding where are you here he can spend all day doing this Sand it. Well, let me go around here. In the newly plastered ward, you need uh, some kind of sandpaper, 180 grit to 120, just to grit this sand. Sand it down a little bit. So, so the paint grit. I think I've said this in a video before because I was doing this and Jeff was doing some as well. I mean, there was that clip I filmed with you that looked, looked like you were doing Zumba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the dust is flying all on me. You need to do your sand just putting it back on There's going to be serious sanding on this, right? Oh, okay. Serious sanding. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even think there's any point doing hardcore broom up there, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah. Because we have to use a sand over it. hard if I had, A, it would take too long. Yeah. And B, it won't be the same finish. All oh, right. Yeah. I'll shoot you in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Our first visitor at the house. Hello, everyone. You haven't been. Why do you always clap? I'm going to bring I'm filthy here. He's been. Well, Jack has been working at the house all day, but you haven't been in a vlog since Dublin. Yeah, that's right. I don't think. Wow. Which yeah. is a really long time. But it's so nice showing like someone around the house. I mean, you know, the house currently looks like this. But yeah, it's looking awesome. We took um, a few selfies out um, outside in front of the yellow tiles, which you really like, right? Yeah, they're my favourite thing. It's so cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just can't wait to move in now. Let's go um, show you my garden so you can help me design it or basically do it all for me. Like it's grand <laughs> designs or something. Yesterday was so nice. Our friend Jags came to see the house and it was the first friend we've had round, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, it was actually. The rest of the people that have been have just been family and it was really nice to like show him around the house and actually he was the one that recommended his friend who is our builder. So it was kind of like everyone knew each other and we had another builder, another guy working at the house and he's done my friend's tiling so they kind of knew each other and yeah, it was just really nice to kind of show him around, not that there's much to see and also just get some like ideas from him because he has like re recently renovated his own house and it is just absolutely incredible we have quite similar decorating styles as well and his garden is kind of the star of the show like he really knows his stuff about gardening like i have zero knowledge about gardening in fact i was watching a video on youtube the other night about how to pull up weeds because i haven't lived in a house with a garden since i was 18 and left home and even then like my parents and all my family have always had gardeners and I didn't do any gardening when I was younger, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know any gardening terminology, how to even like pull up weeds and like mow the lawn and stuff like that. So I've got him to like unofficially design our garden. I mean, this is like a future project, like way into the future, not happening anytime soon. But yeah, it's nice to like get a few ideas. So we showed him around and then we sat in the garden for like about an hour or so because he was the builder was dropping him home and so he was waiting for him to finish and it was just nice to hang out in our garden wasn't it yeah. not that we could like offer him any drinks or food or anything because it literally is a building site and it was really funny because when we went upstairs he was like oh um, this is what I'm here for I want to take a selfie by your yellow tiles <laughs> and I was like that's so funny because I think we've inadvertently created a selfie wall in our bathrooms so now 
now, once we move in and whenever anyone comes around, I feel like we're all gonna get in the shower <laughs> just to take photos, which is quite funny. But um, this morning we're up and out and about really early. We're off to look at flooring. It's a bit annoying because most places aren't really open on a Sunday. So we're going back to two places we went to last time. Flooring is just gonna be really difficult to find and hopefully we find some things. So we can get the carpets ordered next week because I kind of need them to like work together and look good together and I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, that's kind of our plan for today. We don't want to spend all, all day out and about. So we want to try and get home for lunchtime. We're only going to two places <clears throat> and we're getting them and we're getting there just as like the first place opens up so that we're not hanging around and before it gets busy as well with loads of other people so that's kind of our plan for today and then we're going to go home you're going to watch the football aren't you yes yeah, yeah and um i just need to sort some stuff out in the house we need to drop the kitchen cabinet handles and do all the rest of that fun stuff so we're back here again <laughs> you might recognize this from a few videos ago Oh, it's so expensive though, if you know the sale prices. I'm hoping to find some flooring that is less than £40 a square metre. But um, I don't know. <clears throat> I quite like this one. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. Oh, it's so difficult. I really struggle with flooring. In fact, this one's quite nice. Again, no, that's too dark as well. Oh. So interestingly, this is the laminate that we saw last time and I was dead against laminate, but this really stood out to me because I really like it. I mean, it's a third of the price, <laughs> so it's a lot more affordable. And this way I'll get my herringbone um, pattern that I wanted. Because when you get engineered wood, herringbone also costs twice the price to fit. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, it's a difficult one, isn't it, Jess? Yeah because I've been so against um, laminate for so long. But I know laminate's come a long way since we've done our flap because our flap is like really shiny and it definitely looks fake. This, this one, doesn't this look... This one's matte. This one hasn't got much of a sheen on it. So yeah, it's not that bad, it's not, is it? It's not um, glossy or anything anymore like this. This one's good. Mm. Here we go. We put it on the floor. It doesn't look so dark um, in the sun because don't forget where our floor is going, just it's by the patio door. There'll be a lot of light and there'll be light from the skylights above it as well. Yeah. So it will kind of look more like this side rather than this side. Yeah, probably. Which yeah. is good because I don't want it to be too dark like the flooring that they have on in here. But I actually prefer the laminate here than I did at the other place. All right. This is a bit Guys, it's Sunday night. We've just got back to the house. We spent um, all afternoon at home and all morning shopping. We're now at the end of renovation week 12. God, I look so like tired today. Um, I'm actually not that tired, but we're putting the recycling out uh, for the first time in this house. It's so weird. It's because the builder, the main builder isn't gonna be here tomorrow. So he's left it all bagged up for us and told us to leave it out. But it's really funny because when you live in a flat, you just take your rubbish to the bin area whenever you empty your bins inside the house. There's no like bin collection day. I mean, there is, but you don't care about it because it's just like a communal bin area. But here, like we're gonna have to like try and find out. Oh, it's Monday, isn't it? I don't know if that's just recycling or if it's just like all rubbish, but yeah, that's a very exciting life update. Uh, oh, we left the paint in the car. We actually came to drop some paint off and um, basically just have a look to see what's gone on which is probably nothing because we were here yesterday anyway and I thought I'd wrap this video up but yeah we've actually just come to have a look to see what's happened but nothing's actually changed in fact since yesterday the main builder isn't in tomorrow but one of the guys is coming in to start sanding down the architraves and filling them and stuff like that so i mentioned a couple of videos ago because somebody has just commented on my video today and i'm now two weeks behind on youtube about our doors and actually we've decided to keep the original doors i just really like them i don't want to rip out all the original features i know it'll be a lot of work sanding and filling and stripping the paint and i know you can get them dipped in like acid to remove the paint i don't know how much that costs but it's fine we can do that in time i just don't want to replace them with new ones because even though i can buy i think these are called one over three 
or just three panel doors but they're basically the ones for a 1930s property i know you can buy them but you still have to sand those down prime them and paint them even if they're pre-primed so they're still added cost not just the cost of buying the doors and the labor to fit them and buying the hinges and stuff like that so I just really want to keep the doors that's a decision that we've made but the architraves which I think I've mentioned before which are these door frames um, need a lot of work this is downstairs this one's not too bad and I think I might have mentioned yesterday we're gonna keep this like it is I spoke to one of my friends who has quite a lot of experience in renovating properties and she was like why don't you just sand it down fill it and just basically fix it up paint it and then see how you feel and then if you decide you don't like it just remove these inside panels and put the spindles in there or just put regular spindles but this is kind of the lazy way of doing it but also it will save a lot of cost so that's what we're doing for now okay it's very dark now because it's coming up to like 9 30 p.m but look my towel radiator has gone in i don't think i noticed this yesterday because there was a guy basically sat here working on the sink um and yeah i'm very obsessed with this cabinet and the tiles in hindsight if i was to do this all again i wouldn't change anything maybe the pink tiles i absolutely love the color i love the color of grout that we chose i would have probably just bought narrower tiles so there was like lots more of them same sort of height but just just some that are quite narrow and long so they have more of a dramatic effect and maybe look a little bit more refined but you know what i'm not obsessing over that because i absolutely love the colors in here and i really like how this looks all cloudy that's the look i was trying to achieve obviously it still needs to be finished and once the lights actually go in you'll be able to see it properly obviously once the bulbs are in but yeah i'm so obsessed with this i just love it it's just so funky and it's just so cool i'm not brave enough to like attempt this <laughs> in the rest of the house i thought i'd start small in the downstairs toilet because you know it's a very small space to kind of practice on almost so i'm very very happy with the way that it's turned out i don't want to get too close because you know it's a toilet but one thing that i'm undecided about which again i can do in the future i don't have to do it now is the skirting it's white obviously the toilet is white <laughs> and so is the sink but i would quite I would have loved to paint the skirting the same colour as the walls to basically make it blend in. I'm not buying like a whole tin of paint just for like a tiny bit of skirting. So I will probably have some black wood paint left over from a different project. So I might, my options are to basically paint the skirting black to kind of blend in with the floor or just keep it white because obviously you know there's two other things that are white in here so yeah let me know your thoughts down below in the comments that's not a decision i have to make anytime soon and that can easily be changed so we've left all the bits that the guy will need for tomorrow on the windowsill the guy um the builder told us to leave it all here for him so that he doesn't spend half an hour or an hour or whatever walking around the house trying to find it so yeah that's fine in fact oh this is all getting damaged like honestly this place is just such a tip. The sandpaper here, this needs to be covered somehow. Okay, can't. So yeah, we just basically went, this is literally all we came to do, drop off this undercoat for the architraves upstairs. Okay, so this is what I mean by the architraves. There's like really big gaps here, massive crack. Loads of things need to be filmed, filmed, filled. <laughs> so hopefully next week's video, this will no longer look like that and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> I've just realised that I forgot to end this video. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week when hopefully the kitchen's arriving. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.